What's going on guys? Today I've got three brand new themes from Dreamboard that I think you guys are gonna like. So let's get right into it. If you don't have Dreamboard installed, I will have the installation instructions in the link on the description below. So go ahead and check that out. So first of all, we've got Ubuntu or Ubuntu, however you want to pronounce it. So go ahead and just launch Ubuntu and let that load up in Dreamboard. All right, so once it's loaded, you can see right off the hop, um, it's a really nice and kind of stylish looking theme. So at the side here, you've got a little dock here so you can go ahead and switch just like that by clicking that button there it kind of like logs you out and on the side here you've got this Mozilla Firefox icon it just launches mobile Safari you got your App Store notes and settings and then along the top here you've got your clock user which really doesn't do anything if you click on that it might do something if you have a certain application installed but I might not have that application so it does nothing for now and then you've got settings at the side here so you can go into your system settings which is just your settings application so that'll just load up and then you can also change your wallpaper so I'll show you some nice looking wallpapers here I like this one here and just exit and it just switches your wallpaper, so really nice and simple to do that. That's uh, one thing I like about it. Um, if you just go ahead and tap this search, that will bring up Google search, and it's not the full version, like it doesn't actually go to mobile Safari, it kind of just launches it like a side widget. And then if you go a little bit further down, you've got shortcuts. This is really nice, I like this. You can go ahead and it kind of categorizes your different applications. So if you click on media apps, and you've got some media applications here like music, YouTube, videos, and I just added this mobile bell tv one so you can just click this edit button at the side here and it'll just tell you that you're in editing mode so you can just tap whatever empty space is available and throw some kind of um i'll put the core link radio on there throw an application on there tap edit again and it saves your changes so you can go ahead and customize that however you like um, same thing goes for the internet applications it just gives you safari youtube and itunes to start go ahead and click on more applications that will pretty much show you all of the applications that you have installed and find files this will just launch iFile if you have that installed if you don't have it installed I don't think it will launch anything and then a little bit further down you've got another dock this one will have your Safari photos mail and music applications and then further down another dock that's like the fourth dock now um, we've got your music and then three buttons I'm not sure exactly what these guys do but this one will launch your music player so that is Ubuntu HD it's free from the Mod My Eye repo, so go ahead and check that one out if you're a Linux guy or an Ubuntu guy, or you just want a nice looking simple theme that allows you to change a wallpaper and customize icons on your home screen. All right, so next up is Metro 8. You can just go ahead and install that, and I'll have the installation instructions in that link in the description below. So go ahead and install Metro 8, and this is what you get. It's a Windows 8 based theme. It looks really nice. Um, it feels really comprehensible. As you can see here, um, you've got some nice big colorful icons for your applications you've got mail Safari phone messages and store right on your home page and you can go ahead and actually customize these however you like so it kind of categorizes them off the start you've got your home page and then you've got your social and then you've got your applications and then some media at the very end so if you just tap on this little icon in the bottom left corner of media or even in the bottom left corner of social here you can edit these however you want so just go ahead and tap on that and that just brings you into editing mode dismiss that and if you tap an empty cell you can go ahead and add whatever you want so I'm gonna go ahead and add Twitter if I can find it there she is and there you go so it's pretty simple to customize whatever you want um, if there's something that's there like Facebook and you want to get rid of it and put something else there you can go ahead and switch it if you want also if you just tap on the bottom of the screen here then it'll show you your date and time and you can just launch this applications icon that'll just show you all of your applications that are available that you've downloaded so far just go ahead and tap on the apps at the top there it brings you back to your home screen some cool customizations are also available so if you go ahead and click on media there for example you can launch your music videos photos camera and iTunes store and this all looks just like Windows 8 will look and it looks a lot like what's already available in Windows Phone 7 phones as well so if you just scroll to the right here you've got different applications and you can customize these as well so just tap on the settings button to go into editing mode all right and then you can just change whatever you want to change on here so let's put the clock on there and there you go so you can customize this again however you want scroll to the right again and you've got your favorites so right now it's got Shazam, Cydia, 
uh, iTunes Store, Voice Memos, and YouTube. So this one's a really nice, complete theme, nice and customizable. Um, and you can do just about anything that you can regularly do on your springboard. So I would definitely recommend this one. I'm not sure what other repos you can get it from, but I know that it is in Insanely Eye for free. So it's called Metro 8. Make sure to check this one out. It's really nice. All right, so the last theme I've got for you guys today is called Equix. So once you've launched Equix, the first thing you'll notice are these really nice looking icons along the side, and they're totally customizable, so you can change those around. So you'll see you've got music, videos, Cydia, camera, and a whole bunch of other ones. You've got Safari and whatnot, so you can just tap on these, change these to whatever you want. Um, let's go with calculator, for example, and there you go. At the top here, you've got this little clock icon, and on the home screen, you can change this to a white theme or just text if you want. And then you've got the date and time at the top as well. Also on your home screen, you'll notice on the left-hand side here, you've got this animated weather widget, which is really cool. It'll show you the weather. And then finally, you've got this calendar widget at the bottom left corner there. So it just shows you what day of the week it is. Looks really good. And you can actually toggle these on and off if you want. So if you find that your home screen is a little bit cluttered and you can go ahead and click on those little blue triangles in the corner and you can just take some of those out. So you've got some other tabs here. You've got social, work, media, games, and then settings. So if you just bounce over to social or any one of those tabs, again, you can just change this however you want. So you can just add whatever applications like Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. And you can do that with any of those tabs at the bottom. So you can really customize this one. That's what I really like about this theme. For $3, you are getting quite a bit. And it looks like you've got a little RSS feed or some kind of feed as well that you can customize. You can toggle that off if you want to as well. So this one's a really nice one, totally complete, totally customizable, and a really nice looking theme as well. So that one is called Equix DB. It's from Corbin8495 and it's $3 from the Mod My Eye repo. So make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching guys, there's a couple of things I want to say. First of all, we're going to be moving our channel over from Tech Prodigy 7 over to Jailbreak City on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe there. All the videos will now be uploaded there for all themes, tweaks, reviews, and news, and anything that has to do with jailbreaking or iPhones, iPod Touches, all iDevices. All of those videos will now be on Jailbreak City on that channel, and the Tech Prodigy 7 channel will be my own personal channel for things like reviews and unboxings, that kind of stuff. So make sure to go over to Jailbreak City and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out jailbreakcity.com. We've been putting a ton of work into the website. We've got all kinds of reviews, themes, tweaks, um, all that good stuff, installation instructions and everything. All of that is on jailbreakcity.com, so make sure that you check that out. There's a desktop version as well as a mobile version, so if you're on your iPhone, on the go, or iPod Touch, then you can actually go ahead and check it out on the go, wherever you are. It's gonna be nice and optimized, it's gonna be fast, so check that out. All right, so thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you later, peace. So like always, for more themes, tweaks, news, and reviews, check out jailbreakcity.com, and I'll see you guys next time.